I skipped out on Tarn because I was told Legacy Bludgeon was coming and I was not disappointed. This figure is just fantastic. I love all the little details on him. There's so many things from Tarn that really pop on this version just because of the way the colors look, because Bludgeon does wear this mold well. He does have visible hands and nothing really covering up the back, but there's also a lot to love about this figure. There's a lot to love about this mold. There's a rotating turret and even the guns at the front can move a little bit. Now, he is fairly large for a Voyager. I wanna make that clear because here he is size compared with the terrible core class bomb burst, the pretty okay deluxe and fellow tank Skullgren, and the very good core class Iguanas. And of course, Machine Wars Hoist, because it's me. I have not messed with this mold until today. I did not get Tarn. I saw that they were doing him as Bludgeon, so I waited and it's a pretty cool mold. The uh, transformation is very, very, uh, interesting, and I think it's one of the best Voyager transformations we've gotten since, like, G-Axis. Uh, so we're gonna take off the sword, and you do have to start with parts forming. Now, there is a way that you can, if you spin this piece around, and you don't mind this, like, sitting a little more forward, you can leave everything on during transformation, and, like, perhaps this is how you want to transform Bludgeon instead of Tarn, because then this sits a little farther forward, but that's not for me to say. We're just doing the official transformation here. So those things off to the side and we're going to come underneath here and we're going to pop these panels out and we're going to fold them back around and close them back up so do that on both sides i've only transformed this guy once so far i literally just got him i have some stuff i wanted to get done today so i'm gonna try and get this guy done very very quick then you want to grab the feet right here and just flip them back untab the arms fold these panels 180 and rotate the hands 180 so very very flippy on the arms and then there's that bring them down like so and then we're going to take this panel and we're going to pop it backwards and lift it up take this panel and start leaning it forwards but then we're going to grab these shoulders and rotate them kind of like this and at the same time we're going to bring the chest down bring these shoulders forward and you're just gonna grab it like this and squish and then we can bring the chest panel down and now we can push this piece up this is gonna be his head obviously just get that out from behind the backpack make sure that closes up take the backpack and does it lock in place did we rotate it yeah rotate it around sorry and tab it in bring these pieces up they should snap into place straighten out the legs bring out the feet and now we can take the backpack i like having it just facing down so bring it like so and we can give him his sword very very bludgeony and once again straighten out those legs kind of get them posed up and there we have legacy bludgeon in his robot mode now, Bludgeon's robot mode, while it is extremely similar to Tarn's, is something fantastic. I love the head sculpt, though I do wish it was a little different. I wish he had the no jaw wire mouth, because that's what I remember from the comics. But he does stand at a very imposing stature. The big shoulders, the wide chest, and the sword in his hand really make this guy imposing. I especially love how he can get so low as a voyager and still hold his balance it's really quite impressive and the opening hands do a lot for this guy he has so many different joints built into him and it makes him a standout the build is also very clean from the back i want to point that out as well now it is a big Voyager. Once again, another large Voyager. Here he is again with fellow pretenders Iguanus, Bomburst, and Skullgren, as well as Fans Project Monstructor. And these guys are something to behold together. Really, really good looking uh, set. Now, articulation on Bludgeon is actually really, really good. I'm surprised by how 
much he has. Uh, a ball joint at the neck, which is extremely, extremely emotive. It can tilt. Uh, he also has a hinge that allows him to kind of look down and look up a little farther than normal, which is really, really nice. He has uh, hot rod shoulders, which kind of suck, uh, but he can full 360 there. And then he has a bicep swivel, as well as this joint right here, which does tend to just kind of give out and move when you don't want it to. A little bit more than 90 at the elbow, wrist swivels, and opening and closing hands, something we hadn't seen on a Voyager uh, since G-Axis. Now, full 360 at the waist, his, he does have the hip uh, armor on the front of his hips, so it can go forward, can go backward, just a little bit past 90, can go out a little bit shy of 90, you can see it kind of wiggle in there, go out a little bit shy of 90, and then thigh swivel with no gaps, it's really, really nice. He has a knee joint uh, that goes past 90, but he does have a transformation hinge, so you can get a double jointed knee out of it if you unclip it out of place, so. Um, so very, very cool. And then below, he does not have an ankle swivel, but he does have an ankle tilt as well as his feet can go forward and back. So incredible, incredible articulation on this guy. Just overall, it's it's quite, quite good and very nice to see on a character who hasn't really been done justice in a very, very long time. Overall, Bludgeon is a wonderful retool. I do think that they could have done a little bit more on him, specifically just giving him a new chest. I think that would have been the biggest boon this figure could have gotten. But he still looks fantastic with the other pretenders, and he also looks good with his fellow Decepticon uh, kind of tyrant-type character, Geaxis. These guys really feel like they're cut from the same cloth, and I feel like the same designer worked on these. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. But Bludgeon overall, on his own, is a great figure. If you skipped out on Tarn and were waiting on him, he was worth the Weight, especially if you've been collecting the other pretenders or have G-Axis. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. This has been Bot's Obsession.